top 10 most hyped fragrances that people hate. On this video, we're gonna start with La Nuit de Loma, Yves Saint Laurent, $130, 6.7, $100, 3.4. Right there, people hate it for the price. The scent is amazing. If you're at the store and you smell it right off the bat, it smells great. It's not as common as one would think, and people say it's the most complimented fragrance and all this on everyone's list. But lots of people, I read YouTube reviews, I've read comments of people on videos, and they say it's too common, they say it's weak, and they say it's overhyped, and just some of them even said it's a mess. I want to smell like it better if you can find this one. I have like two drops left. I'll waste them for you. It's called Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de Loma. Intense fire. Next fragrance. They actually said this masterpiece from 2006 is not up to their par. It's called Terry de Hermes. This is a masterpiece of vegetable-like notes and oranges and mandarin and grapefruit mixed with cedar and vetiver and patchouli, things like that. And it comes together masterfully, but people say it's too earthy, too dry, too woody even. And they hate the price because it's like $100 average price, $88 to $100 for this Hermes that came out in 06 by the master perfumer himself. Elena, and instead of that, you could buy this Bentley Infinite Intense for $35. Do I agree with them on that? It is kind of uh, hard to wear for me, but I really do enjoy it. But on the second part, I don't like the price of the next fragrance. This is Jean Paul Gaultier La Mail. Plain and simple, they say it's too feminine and too clean. And this is hard for me, but I agree with them on some of them. But I used to wear this when it was most powerful. If you want to smell like this better, on this left hand, I've got Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail Le Parfum. And that's what I would recommend you buy instead of this. And if you want something for like, I'm the hit of the party type fragrance, there's one called Ultra Mail. It's on my right hand and it's like totally mass appealing. And I kind of, when it dries down, I like it almost better than that. Depends what kind of mood I'm in, you know? If you're like going on a date with your parents and your girlfriend's parents and all that, you get that one. Hey, by the way, this channel doesn't really reach out to many South American countries, but one of them it did, it was called Venezuela. Shout out to, what's his name? Andres. Andres, he was watching us. And then there's Chile. And then of course, our US people that are watching us all the time, Los Angeles, Houston, and Ohio. My gosh, Ohio. The next fragrance is called Dolce Gabbana The One. The Eau de Toilette, it's so bad I threw it away or sold it or something. I would recommend you get the O1 Eau de Parfum. And what did they say about the Eau de Toilette? They said it's too weak, it's too synthetic, and there's too much hype. And they say that about this as well, but this one lasts longer. And then there was one time a fragrance that you could get to smell like this. It's called Trussardi Rifalesso, 30 to $35 to smell like Dolce Gabbana, the one which is costing the Eau de Toilettes like $40, not bad a price. And this one's like $60. And if you ever wanted to smell like La Nuit de Loma, just find that one fragrance called Guess Ohm Seductive Blue, 20 bucks. Next fragrance, they actually said that Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette is not versatile. It's too spicy and too many people hype it. And I uh, might not agree with them. It's a nice blended light combination of spices and it lasts 12 hours, but the best fragrance to buy that's similar to it is called Do Spice Bomb Victor and Rolf Extreme because it's got more prominent notes. It's got delicious vanilla if you can't afford it. Spice and black vanilla cremo. 20 bucks at TJ TK Maxx. The next fragrance I don't even have. I sold it. It's called Aqua Di Gio. Maybe your grandfather's grandfather wore it or your dad wears it and he's like 70 now. I don't know but don't buy it. And I've seen 21 year olds at Macy's shopping telling their girlfriend they like it. Don't get it. You might like this Eau de Parfum better by Aqua Di Gio. I like it. I really dented this bottle, but it's, of course, I've had two of these. This is called Aqua de Gio Absolute Instinct. It's patchouli. It's got a more of a marine note. I like both of these formulations better. I've heard people say bad things about it. This is Eau de Parfum, but still, all these are way up high price, just as Aqua de Gio still is, $60 to $100. When you could buy this, I just found it. I sprayed it. I was blown away. 
It's called All You Need Is Love by RMAP. It smells exactly the same notes as everything as this Aqua De Geo Absolute Instinct. Same power. I love it. Next fragrance, Invictus. It's right here. Invictus, they say it's too sweet, not masculine enough, and too kitty like That's what they say about Invictus. And I kind of agree. I never liked it, but I've always liked all their flankers like Invictus Intense, which is not available now. And this is the newest one I really love. It's called Invictus Platinum. And there's thousands of Invictus cheap fragrance clones you can buy. Just look it up on another day here. Dior Sauvage is the next one. They say it's too common, too strong, too sharp, and extremely overhyped. And these are people, I'm thinking, that are from L.A., New York, Milan, Tokyo. I don't know because that could be possible there, but people in mainstream America, I will tell you the opposite of what the people that hate this. I would say go for it and buy this 100%. I love this Sauvage Eau de Toilette. I will disagree with them on that one. And the first one I found, it's going pretty good. It lasted pretty long. I'm still testing Urban Man Elixir. It's a new 2022 release by Club de Nuit, Intense by RMF. The next one, can you believe they hate this? This is 99% lady killer it's called creed aventus i got the one in 2011 i love it they say it's overrated overpriced no longevity they, they just go off and rip it apart everywhere you look any site any blog there's always a hater and if you want to get one i found this for 75 it's hard to find too but it's called club de nuit pure parfum you can get the pure parfum or the limited edition which is very authentic they're both great rmf is making fire fragrances 2022 2023 bleu de chanel they actually told you you hate it doesn't everyone love bleu de chanel comment down below what your most hated fragrance is and what your opinion is on any of these please let's start this conversation they say this is too common this is too overpriced and this is non-original I'd have to agree because they originally made this, didn't they? They are the ones who started this back in, what, 2010 or 11 or something like that? But, and the second thought, if you spray this on one hand, $130 fragrance, it smells good and fresh and mass appealing and easy to wear. And then you spray this on the other hand, this is called Iconic. It opens up, grr, delicious. It lasts ages. It's great for the summer and spring this is our map iconic and this is the one i would get instead of this it's like 70 dollars versus 130 right now and there's other fragrances you can buy that are cheaper and synthetic smelling that smell like bleu de chanel but i would go with the iconic the next one on the list is called polo blue don't buy that but click here and watch this that you should buy